I'm going to be explaining the basic steps for just one section of the balloon dog because each section honestly just requires the same principles and it's the same thing for each part. To make sure I have no white space, fill in the space with a medium gray. I don't want it to be too light or too dark because I want it to easily blend into lighter and darker variations of itself. Since this is acrylic paint and dries fast, I try to blend it together when it's still wet for a smoother result. Once the basic blending is done, take a very dark gray, block up the shape that's dark. We're building this in layers. When adding the subtle highlights and color shifts, do not use white. You want to save the white for the brightest highlights to make this look extra metallic and realistic. For the subtle highlights, work from darkest to lightest colors and try not to block it in. We want this to look like a natural reflection. For the brightest highlights, use white and fill it in. And then if it's not bright enough, just wait for that to dry and then just go over it again with white and it will work perfectly fine. To make it extra realistic, add a light gray around the edges of the main white highlight to give it an extra reflective look. And then as an added bonus, I did add in distorted reflections of a person by using a kind of like a pinkish orange in some areas to look like my reflection. And then you're just going to continue this process for the rest of the balloon sections and you will be finished. Remember, it's also not going to look identical to mine or perfect or whatever your expectations are for your first go. It does take a lot of practice and time and we do each have our own unique style, so just have fun with it. And then if you have questions, just comment them. Write them in the comment sections and I will try my best to answer you. Bye!